everybody, welcome back to an all new episode of Complex. Today we're looking at another Kawabot robotic suitcase. Now we reviewed uh, the original one a long time ago, but this one here is their latest model. It is a red, aka racing red version, featuring a wireless without the actual wristband connectivity. So it'll follow you based on its, its own built-in algorithm or sensors, allowing to go ahead and detect a human being and follow just specifically you. So let's see what it's all about. So you get your robotic suitcase in a sleeve and you get this nifty looking box. So it's a Cowabot battery. Now the battery is a very unique battery, mainly because you can go ahead and use it as a power bank in addition to just using it to charge or essentially use your robotic suitcase. The aspect behind this is that you can remove it, put it to the side for TSA if you are traveling so they can go ahead and inspect it. You can store it that way without scratching it and wow. <laughs> What an eye candy looking piece. So this has a nice metallic racing red look and it actually is very nice. Now it does have the main mechanism here which houses the lock feature. So you have the three dials where you can go ahead and customize your own crate number. Uh, we have our USB ports here so we can go ahead and charge uh, and use this uh, as a power bank station. And the way you open it just like last time to spin this dial here just like this and voila you have a variety of different spots so you can go ahead and place storage okay just like that you plug it in and you'll see that there is an led here on the top blinking and you just go ahead and lift this handle up and you can see that it's got the variety of different cameras so you got one two three four different cameras um and this button right here to go ahead and start following the wheel will come out just like this <laughs> and then you have your LED here on the front. Um... <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and put this bad boy down and try it out. Just turn it on. We're going to go ahead and lift this up. just like this. And then from there, we're going to press this button here to indicate that, it, that we're the person that's supposed to follow. All right, you'll hear the wheels come out. <laughs> and just like that, it's going to start following us. Now, the point behind this is just to walk naturally. So when you start walking naturally, it'll go ahead and follow you with these. And then if you come back, you can make a little small circle. It actually does it quite well. Surprisingly, it handles like, it's following me very good. I mean, this is kind of cool, right? And that's actually one of the coolest things about this is the way it works. Now, if I start running, <laughs> you can't really have obstacle come in the way, otherwise it'll stop. So you wanna be careful with it. Uh, now, if it does lose itself just the way it did, all you have to do is go ahead and just hit this button here and then reconnect it. And we're off again. Now, if I were to go ahead and just kind of stop here and put my hand here like this, it'll go ahead and make it back into a regular suitcase, which I can just go ahead and use about like this. Now, if I press this button here, it'll go back into the following state. So let's go ahead and put it to the test. All right, so right now I have both the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 following me, and I'm kind of curious to see which one follows me better. Now, Gen 1 uses a bracelet to go and track versus Gen 2 uses a variety of sensors. So let's see what happens. All right, so I'm just walking. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> behave, behave. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> What the heck's going on? 
All right, well, there you guys have it. Overall, a really cool design concept. I really like the idea of how they made it, and especially compared to the original, they really upgraded a lot. Plus the fact that you don't have to actually have to wear something to make it follow you is an added on plus. Now the variety of different sensors creates a unique aspect in terms of the way it follows. And I have to say, it actually does it quite well. And with that said, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.